Hello all, Mark McGurn here. Just doing a quick video on spraying liquid masks. I've done this a while back, uh, but I really kind of want to focus on Biddy's liquid mask. And I'm actually going to turn off my fan real quick so it's not as loud. But about to do some spraying. And um, for me, I got some bodies to spray, so I'm not going to do all of them, but I just wanted to kind of show you where I'm at. I just use Biddy liquid mask. Um, I don't need to strain it. Uh, I've heard some folks that strain it uh, I just pour it into a HVLP. I got this from Harbor Freight. They make some for like 15 bucks. Uh, you get them on sale for $10. My favorite color is green, so I splurged for this one. Uh, I think this one was 25 or 30 bucks. So uh, it's super, super easy to do this. Uh, but the biggest thing I want to show is uh, the difference between I've used Spray Lap before or by Dively back in the day. And the big difference between the two, what I found is uh, you got to go a little thinner uh, with Biddy. When I first did it, I was going on too thick. It didn't come on. Uh, it bubbled a little bit, took forever for it to dry. And it, I soon realized, I think I'm going too thick. And sure enough, once I started doing what I do now, uh, it is my absolute favorite liquid mask. Uh, I will not be changing or do anything else. Um, so this is fantastic. I'll tell you why. One is it's uh, Stefano Bitti, uh, Rabitti. Uh, he is very active uh, in the RC industry, uh, especially with us painters. And so I wanna support that. But beyond that, love him. If this wasn't any good, I love you Stefano, I wouldn't use it. But the biggest thing what I like is how it adheres to the body. And so what I mean by that, and I think I've already taken all my bodies back, is when you do points on, on a, uh, a body uh, spray lat or Bob Dively, when you kind of pull up that end, right, you're getting that point out, that tip would kind of flare out or, or, or kind of curve. Well, Stefano's, the biddies, actually sticks to the body better. Not bad, it's, it's just stickier. Uh, it adheres, is probably the better word, to the body itself. So when I'm pulling up liquid mask, I have a lot better result uh, with me cutting and designing my body. So I've got a, 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 a stadium truck here. I think this is a Losi. Uh, that is, these bodies are getting boxier and boxier, but it's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna show you, I usually wear a mask, but obviously I'm talking to you. Um, I just use a, a air mask or, or whatever to ensure I'm not inhaling this. So I'm gonna turn on my fan so it's gonna be a little louder. Um, all right, here we go. Biggest thing is just kind of go light. And what I'm doing here is I'm not pulling all the way. I'm about at probably 35 PSI is my guess, give or take. But the biggest thing is don't pull it all the way down. That's what I was doing. So what was happening was there was crap ton of liquid mass coming out and it was just going on too thick. And I'll kind of show you how thick I put it on. I'm just gonna make sure you're kind of getting all the mold lines that are there. But again, I'm probably about a pulling a quarter of this trigger. spots that I know might be thinner. Get in this back corner. But yeah, that is it. Um, you can kind of see it's still, you can kind of see my fingers here, right? Holding up number two. So it's not super thick, okay? I wish I had my phone, but I'm recording from my phone. to kind of put some light behind it. But as you can see, as I back up and kind of get some better light, it's not super dark. And so, and here is some buggies I did, as you can kind of see, that I did before. Again, not super dark, okay? When you're done, here's one I've already done before. This is what it looks like, right? It's so, you don't want it dark pink, right? Like that's, and I don't think I've, here we go. Yeah, so here's a body that I did a while back when I first was going a little too heavy. And you can't really see it too well, but you can kind of see how there's texture 
there you go i think you can kind of see it right there there's a texture to it that's because i went on too thick right so when you're cutting it kind of it is not smooth i mean you can make it work um trust me i, I did it on accident many many times but yes yeah, so there's a texture on it the difference is i don't think you can kind of see see the color difference yeah there you go see that color difference right that's this is a little too pink you kind of want that very light translucent paint is what you're going for so um that's kind of what you want to do i'll do one more just to kind of show you um here So again, super light, nothing crazy. Uh, as you can see, I'm now 6.45 in. Uh, why I love spraying is uh, I can do, if I did this start to finish, I got probably six or seven bodies to do. It'll take me 15 minutes to do one coat. Hand uh, brushing on there, it will take quite a bit longer just because the time it takes So to brush that on. But if you are not spraying liquid mask, you need to do it, and if you do, Get some bitty liquid mask it is my absolute favorite hope this helps somebody uh, and the biggest thing is you want to clean right afterwards it's super easy to clean when i first did it i was really worried about cleaning it uh once all i had to do was get the right little tools i got these guys uh, from amazon i will post that up on the comments of where i got and then i got a little guy for this so this right i will take off i'll unscrew it all Take everything out again all you need is the needle and the nozzle to come out and i'm just doing this number this way i come down in the cup here and then i put this guy right through there okay so you can see it's kind of all bent up and whatnot but from there is just get it really clean that takes about five minutes i personally then what i do is put just a little bit of water back in the cup and then i what i'll do is i will put my finger right here and i'll squeeze that trigger to backfill it and all I'm doing is ensuring that there's no leftovers or chunks that I missed. Uh, rarely does that happen, but every now and then it get a little cloudy, and therefore I'm glad I did it. But beyond that, hope this helps. Enjoy.